So when I got accepted to film school, they kind of like showed us like the best films that had been made by the previous year students. And this one film that everyone seemed to be really excited about was by this guy named Andre Burke. And I, I felt kind of like jealous or competitive with this guy because everyone was saying like he was like the real star student or something. And Andre was gay and, you know, it was kind of like the period of, you know, HIV. And I remember there was an image of somebody putting a gun in someone's mouth. And, you know, it was kind of like a sort of obvious metaphor or symbol, but also, you know, a potent one. Um, but anyway, I just kind of, I was just jealous. I was jealous. And he's also really handsome and popular and stuff. Um, but so I always had this kind of like slight hostility towards Andre, really. And I remember we both got accepted to this IFP Filmmakers Week event in New York, and we both went. And we kind of like bonded a little bit during that and kind of became a little friendlier to each other. We were never really friendly. I was like a year behind him, so we weren't really exactly in the same you know, class. But um, over the years, he made a couple features, and they weren't that good. And I remember being glad that they weren't that good. When everyone would come out, I'd be like, oh, thank God it's not that good. And I kind of lost touch with him. And then I heard that he quit filmmaking and become a therapist. And then I heard that he died. And when he died, there was like a memorial service. And there was like a video that he had made about why he'd given up filmmaking and decided to go into therapy. And it was very touching. And I, it's hard to say if he was just giving up because you know he wasn't succeeding that well as a filmmaker or if he like found some like higher calling. And I kind of wondered, like, maybe he did win this contest. 